Reddit by Reddit recap. Serious, gay people of Reddit. Who had to attend gay conversion camp for some reason? What is your story? I remember all too well the moment I realized that this was going to be a long difficult summer for me. On arrival we were given extensive forms to fill out. Questions about hobbies likes dislikes and all that kind of thing. Least favorite smell was an interesting question on the form. My 17 year old self thought. On the second or third day and I was given some. In hindsight. Incredibly laughable gay erotica, probably a strong word, and allowed to return to my room. Or at least what you would expect a particularly naive grandparent in the 1990s to give you. Anyway. As soon as I returned to my room I heard some commotion outside the door and then the pungent smell of curry slowly seeped into my room. Waves of the smell came through periodically over about 3 hours. This was the smell I had listed on the form and this was their attempt at making me straight by associating attractive men with the smell of curry. Then when they ask you how you're feeling. You tell them the strangest thing happened last night. Out of nowhere. I started feeling an inexplicable love for curry. Although I used to hate it. I can finally go to that Indian restaurant Peter always wants to take me to. Honestly I feel like that would just cause me to be aroused by the smell of curry. Her mother my step monster said there was no way in hell she'd send her child there. What a ducking shitty person. The adults liked to follow me around to make sure I wasn't. Ah. Too friendly with the other girls. This reminded me of something that happened at a girl scout camp I went to. Around age 14 or so. It was an out of state camp and I had never been before. But it was also a tiny camp and there were a group of 4 girls who all knew each other. They all had the same interests as me and eventually I was welcomed into their friend group. Two girls. Lisa and Anna. Were especially close. Anna eventually disclosed to me that she was gay in private. And later the group of girls told me that Lisa was gay too and they were in love with each other. But Lisa's parents didn't like that she was gay. And although they couldn't stop Anna from attending the camp. They told the counselors to keep Anna and Lisa as separate as possible. Our camp unit was given special chores to keep us from being able to sit together at meals. The counselors started implementing mandatory buddy rotations. We had to travel with buddies everywhere, so Lisa and Anna couldn't be buddies. They claimed it was to prevent cliques but really everyone in the unit got along fine except one girl. I really was pretty upset at how Lisa and Anna were being treated. I hadn't fully come to terms with being bisexual myself yet but I knew it was very wrong. I'm not sure what happened to Lisa and Anna in life but I hope it was positive. Edit. Well according to Lisa's Instagram. She and Anna actually dated in 2015. Not sure if they are still together but at least they got to be. For a bit. Went to a Catholic summer camp for that exact reason when I was 17. I remember being acquainted with a yardstick if I was mildly disobedient, ignoring nuns and teachers and camp counselors. I remember I was also not allowed to eat if I didn't read verses from the Bible out loud. I tried my best to muddle through all the stuff. But anxiety was getting me halfway through the two week. Making me appear more problematic than usual. So they set me in a tent instead of a cabin for a week where it rained five days in a row. I also remember them calling my parents repeatedly to tell them how abhorrent I behaved. Which obviously led to more trouble. However one clergyman I remember for being a good man. He would go out of his way daily during the two weeks to make sure I was actually okay. What camp was this? This sounds illegal AF and should be reported pronto. Physical abuse. Withholding food and forcing people to sleep outside is extremely inhumane. Seriously report this to the authorities. If not few for all the others that are there are maybe sent there. I appreciate the concern. But I have no idea if this camp exists. It was located outside of America. Philippines to be exact. Hell of a way to spend time visiting your family during summer break though. My story isn't that bad. But this specific camp made us list our hobbies and likes and such. They'd put up pictures of conventionally attractive dudes in the middle of an activity, my favorite thing I listed was drawing, and ask us how we felt about them. Gradually they'd take away one small thing that we liked, for example they'd take my pen, then pencil, then notebook, 
and asked how we felt about the dudes again. Eventually we sat in an empty room as they asked us how we felt. I think this was an attempt to make us associate seeing hot guys with losing everything we loved. But it was so horribly done that I can't imagine whoever thought of that was over the age of 10. This almost feels like it could be a parody short or something. Oh. You like guys do ya? Oh I'm so sure of it. The only way we could tell for sure is if we take all your hobbies out of the picture and you start a I learned like dong. Then when you do they give you a pat on the back and tell you you're ready. Oh you like guys. I'm gonna make you smoke the entire pack. Didn't go to camp but I was put in Church of Christ conversation therapy by my parents. Basically was just told I had a mental disorder for an hour a week for like 6 months. Also told that as I grew up I would grow out of it. And that all I had to do was pray and trust God. A different kid at the same church as me came out and was completely rejected. Total disfellowship. After that I lost my respect for that congregation. I still respect real Christians but those are very rare in churches these days. So how conservative was your cock congregation? One cuppers? Head covering? I became religious in my teens and came out to my parents so that they could take me to a Christian counselor. In hopes that I could become straight or at least asexual. The Bible suggested this was possible in 1 Corinthians 6, 9-11, biblegateway.com link plus 6 and version equals ESV. I was part of an online community of other gay people trying to convert. And some of the people in that community claimed to have successfully converted. I had also contacted Pastor Stephen Bennett who claimed to have converted. So it seemed possible to me based on all these things. As wildly unlikely as it seemed. My parents thought it was fine that I was gay, my mom Marizo than my dad, and didn't want to take me to a Christian counselor. But I was adamant. By the time they caved and finally took me, I wasn't Christian anymore. So my time with the Christian counselor was half-hearted and I was dubious of most things he said. His process was based on the idea that I was gay because my relationship with my dad was inadequate and because I hadn't been affirmed in my masculinity when I was younger. He wanted me to do more manly things and get closer to my dad. My relationship with my dad was fine and I didn't have any interest in sports. So I didn't follow his advice. The counselor asked me what I liked about men. I said I wanted to be held. He said. Well why don't you find an athletic? Assertive girl? A well muscled one. That will do the trick. I was skeptical then and it is laughable now how little he understood what gay people want. That passage, such were some of you, is about being with prostitutes if you read it in context, specifically temple prostitutes, Corinth was home to several Greek temples. Including a temple of Aphrodite. I am so sorry someone convinced you it meant you could be cured of the gay. It makes me so angry that people take passages out of context to pursue their own agendas. And I don't even know anymore. Went through a year and change of conversion therapy because my parents are just homophobic as can be. Conservative Christianity accepted blindly with little critical thought will do that I suppose. I don't blame them too much. They only got it from their parents to begin with. Sessions ranged from horrible to men. Not awful based on who I was seeing at the time. Cause I was passed around between a few therapists whenever the previous one didn't cure me. Lots of dumb attempts at fixing me by creating silly associations. Similar to some other commenters. I remember specifically there was strong attempt to try and connect gay thoughts to jail time in my head. That messed with me for a little. This all happened as I was turning 14 and continued till 18 when I could refuse to attend anymore. It sure didn't turn me straight. But it did make me somewhat homophobic too. Basically I just hate myself. Other people can do what they'd like. I don't really mind. I just never got to grow up and develop sexually. Never got to experience my teenage years without being berated. And I'm going on 12 years of depression now because of it. Bleh. I'm sorry that happened to you. I hope you find relief from your depression soon. Thank you. I'm working on it every day. I win some and lose some. But I'm in a stable position. Just trying to do the best I can now. I am so happy for you mate. Thank you.
I'm sorry that happened to you, those places sound bad enough. But I didn't think sexual abuse was as rampant as how the stories here make them seem. I lucked out by only being sent to a counselor it seems. Thank you for the kind words. People always say it gets better and it really does. Best comment of the day. I went to a Catholic school in South Carolina, and during my freshman year, the school brought in an Anna's an event speaker. The administrations had warned that the topics might be a little mature, so they didn't allow any of the middle school to attend the talk. The speaker was a younger Asian woman, and about 5 minutes in she said that she would be speaking on homosexuality. What followed for the next 2 hours was the most shocking speech for a school event. She described how having abusive parents, divorced parents, a lack of a parental figure is what caused people to be gay, sex before marriage, or masturbating causes people to be gay. The entire school, including the administration, were absolutely shook. This nun just said everything so casually. About 20 minutes in, the teachers began walking out. When we were dismissed, we all went to our next class. I went to my religion class, and everyone was speechless. The school had to issue several apologies, after being flooded by calls from angry parents, and the nun was later barred from speaking at any school in NC. Good times. Bye.